The election excitement in Ottawa is making its way to Vancouver Island. Candidates say they're ready for when the government falls. They are putting their teams together, renting office space, and printing those all-important election signs. A News reporter Stephen Andrew joins us live. Stephen, are the candidates willing to show off those election signs? Well, uh, Eric, the answer is no, because apparently they don't want an election. The Liberal candidate in Esquimalt, Wanda Fuca, will be doing a lot of talking if Canadians go to the polls. Lillian Spock is hoping to leave her Langford Council seat and follow in Liberal Keith Martin's footsteps as an MP in Ottawa. Well, there's a lot of pre-election fever out there, that's for sure, when you turn on the TV. Another councillor, this time from Esquimalt, feels the excitement too. But the NDP's Randall Garrison has his sights set on only one other candidate. Well, we know this is going to be a tight two-way race in Esquimalt, Juan de Fuca, so we're getting started on all those preparations we need to make it a winning campaign. That two-way race, according to Garrison, is between him and Conservative candidate Troy D'Souza. But listen to the third-time Tory candidate, and you get the impression he's not looking forward to an election. In Ottawa, you hear a lot of uh, acrimony and a lot of, uh, you know, chaos and controversy but out here where i'm living people don't want an election and though candidates say they don't want the election their actions say the opposite already they have their campaign signs printed or they're on the way and they're ready at the stroke of a pen to sign the lease on their campaign headquarters and as for the main issues it looks like election fever is creating a wide and varied response. But now is the time for a new kind of government, a new kind of relationship between government and society. I think the number one issue here is pocketbook issues. As a councillor, every day I see people struggling more and more. It just gets harder to make ends meet. We're talking about jobs, everything that impacts working families, affordable housing, health care. Locally, it's all about dealing with the Colwood crawl. So I'm hoping to take that message with me to Ottawa and try to get some some federal help on the Mackenzie overpass and whether you agree with their message or not you'll be hearing from them a lot if the government falls as the candidates will be pounding the pavement searching for electoral glory now Eric I sent out a Twitter today asking people if they were ready for an election on Vancouver Island and these are just three of the comments that we received back an overwhelming no Sickening feeling about uh, who will win, says one follower on Twitter, while another says, yes, but uh, they're also ready for a provincial election to get rid of the Liberals uh, out of British Columbia. And then there's this. One Twitter uh, follower wrote, I will vote for electoral reform someday. We won't have to vote for the party we dislike the least. And uh, I've just sent out another Twitter message asking what are the big issues in this campaign if uh, we go to an election that uh, really concern you. You can find me on Twitter by typing at a news Stephen and Eric will have more of those responses uh, coming up a little bit later what did we do before Twitter Stephen well we just went to the street and talked to people <laughs> face to face all right thanks you're welcome Stephen Andrew reporting